Good morning, Creative Coding students. I decided to go ahead and do this recording with me pictured so you can actually uh, see my face instead of just hearing me talking. What we're going to be going over today is how to use this simulator to be able to turn in these micro bit projects for distance learners. I know that many distance learners don't have an actual micro bit, so you're not going to be able to program it. Um, but you can still do most all the activities on your own and turn in um, the evidence of your work. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So if we go to um, Creative Coding. Last time uh, we got started on this um, person counter um, that we were doing. Uh, went over a lot of it in class. Many of the in-person um, learners uh, got the micro bits out. We had a, several people who, almost, who got it done, but no one's checked it off yet because we kind of ran out of time. So don't feel pressured. Don't feel worried if you haven't turned this in yet. It's okay. We're finishing it up today um, and tomorrow, uh, today being the 2nd of September. So what you're going to be working with is this um, simulator here. It's the programmer and simulator. It does kind of all in one. Um, hopefully, you've already kind of gone through and come up with your uh, counter program. So here is uh, an example of one in case you don't have one. So this kind of shows you just the code and what you need to do. The beginning of the program um, is going to uh, set a variable which you've created. So in variables here, you're going to make a variable, name it something like counter, people counter, or um, persons, people, something like that. A descriptive name that you're going to use for uh, the variable. When you start, it's going to start at a zero. Um, so you start the program, it starts the counter at zero. You also can, um, can should put in a comment here that explains what the program is going to do. Um, put your name as the coder and the date that you created on. So this code counts uh, people entering Costco by Mr. Twining. Um, I wrote this um, two days ago on the 31st of August. And then you also need to code up um, so that when you push a button, um, you're going to change the person counter by one. Um, so each time you press it, it's going to increase. And you're going to show uh, the number on the LEDs here. This, what I'm showing you is for the absolute minimum, just a three. Um, this is proficient. If you want a four, then what you're going to need to do is add some functionality to this. You need to make it so that um, button B will reset back to zero, make it so that it displays a zero when the program first starts. You need to add some, some other code in it to spice it up a little bit if you'd like to, to be able to get that four. So right now, as you can see, here's our simulator. We click one, we click two, and um, so on and so forth, and it just continues counting. So this code works the way that we want it to. So how do we get credit for this? Uh, in person, they're going to download this to their device or their micro bit, and they're going to um, come and show it to me. Distance learners, since you don't have a, a device, or if you do have a device at home, you can download it and then um, make a video of um, your program with your micro bit and submit that. Or you can just do what all the other distance learners are doing as well. And um, you have to publish this um, program and then send me the URL. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're going to click on here where it says share. And um, this gives us uh, the option to share this project. So you're going to name it whatever you want. I did Costco counter. Um, and so then once you do that and you hit publish, this is the URL that you're going to submit to Canvas. Um, so I just copy this URL. This as well can be used to kind of save your project and come back later. Um, you can make a Google Doc and keep all of these URLs. And then if you ever need to go back and edit or work on any of these things later, so you don't get it done today, or you don't get it done in one setting, you can keep track of this URL and it will bring up your code so that you can edit it later. So I've copied this to my clipboard and then I'm going to go into Canvas. And let me um, go to student view here so you guys can see um, what it looks like for you. So uh, when I'm in uh, student view, I've got this person counter that is due um, yesterday. Um, so we're gonna click submit and uh, we're just going to, you can put in the text entry if you want. I prefer you just put a website URL 
and then you just paste that code in there. Um, code. So Control V would do it and submit assignment. And there you have it. That's how you um, submit the code for that uh, the person counter. Uh, watch for future videos of either me showing you this code or I'm going to be posting videos of the class and instructions that you can be able to see if you really get lost and you're like, I don't know how to put the code together. I don't know what you're doing, Twining. Um, watch the videos and I'll take you through step by step uh, to be able to complete these assignments and get them done and uh, turned in. So there you have it. That's how you um, submit the person counter and all of the steps to be able to put that code together. Um, it just looks like this um, and you'll be able to get that first assignment taken care of.